Gina Boski, and today we're getting ready for Oscar with our classic Hollywood edition of Life Bites Live. Let's get going. If you're just joining us, I'm Nina Bosky, and this is Life Bites Live, Oscar week. And we have two special guests with us to talk about the Oscars, mega movie executive and Academy Award member Cheryl Boone Isaacs and mega producer and founder of the oldhollywood.com, Stephen Simon. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Nina. Stephen will be joining us in just a moment. Terrific. So I love this time of the year. I love movies. I love old Hollywood. But for Oscars mm -hmm. this coming Sunday, what can we expect? I think we can all expect a terrific time. It's going to be really <laughs> fun. We've got Billy Crystal, and he is going to host the awards this year. And it promises to be a lot of fun, a lot of comedy. This is a fun night. This is a big night for Hollywood. This is the biggest night for Hollywood of the whole year. What is your favorite part about Oscar? You know, I think the best part is the excitement that uh, the town gets involved in. You know, all of LA gets excited about the Academy Awards, and you see it everywhere. You see where people are starting to plan their parties, you know, what they're going to eat, what they're going to drink, um, and if they are going out to parties, even what they're going to wear, because that's such a big thing. Oh, it is. I uh, love the fact that um, a lot of people are in discussion. It's what movies are out there and which ones they love and what have they seen. And just the whole discussion is really, really great for the industry. <laughs> I'd like to introduce, if we can, Stephen Simon now. Terrific. Who, yeah, he is with us. Stephen, are you there? I'm there. Hi, Nina. Oh, my gosh. I get to see you live. This is great. Hey, hello. You do. And hello, hello, Cheryl. It has been a long time. <laughs> oh, Since not that long. Since going way back to the Columbia <laughs> and Fox days. Oh, wow. The 20th Century Fox. That's what it was called then, right? 20th Century Fox. Oh, yeah, back right. in the day. Right. Well, Stephen, you were responsible for many big movies, What Dreams May Come, All the Right Moves, Somewhere in Time, a lot of my favorites, and many others. We're getting ready for Oscar. So what are some of your favorites, or what are some of the movies that you are really paying attention to this, this uh, Oscar season? Well, I think the most important thing about the Oscars this year is that they are really a tribute to the old Hollywood. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. If you take the two most nominated films, The Artist and Hugo, between them, that's 21 nominations. And both of those films are a tribute to the old Hollywood. And Neil Gabler actually wrote, wrote a fascinating article in the Los Angeles Times the last couple of days that echoed a lot of the things that I said in my book uh, last year, bringing back the old Hollywood, that we miss storytelling. All of these movies that have been so empty and so vapid and so loud that dominate the Hollywood landscape during most of the year, Oscar this year has said, we're going back to storytelling. And I think it's great that, uh, Cheryl, that you and Tom and everybody at the Academy have also gone back to the idea of Billy Crystal, uh, which was a <laughs> wonderful host. So I'm very excited about all of that. So let's review the best picture, because we've been talking about the best pictures. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the picks of this year? There's a lot on the list, you know, from Moneyball to My Week with Marilyn to Hugo, The Artist. Cheryl, what do you think? Well, I do think that the nine nominated films really do show a range. From yeah. one, you the know, help. I mean, the, the help. help is another one, right? I mean, they're just, the yeah. The help. I think Moneyball is an incredibly well-made movie. A wonderful script, wonderful story, and not an easy story to tell. And, of course, uh, like Stephen said, you know, uh, the artist, which, oh, it's just magical. It's just magical. Well, for me, I, I think that when you take a look at a film like The Artist, which was such a gamble, such a unique mm -hmm. thing, such an original thing, uh, Cheryl and I both know that it's very hard to do that in, in Hollywood today. Okay. This wasn't made in Hollywood. It's very hard to do that in film, which is to take big chances. And I think they took a big chance. I personally hope Jean Dujardin, I think that's how you pronounce his name, is rewarded for that. I think it's wonderful. Uh, as far as the picture is concerned, I think The Tree of Life is one of the most extraordinary, imaginative, original films I've ever seen, and I hope it gets some recognition for that as well. And more than anything, I hope that people will watch the show, will watch the Oscar show, watch Billy Crystal, and understand that this is what old Hollywood is all about. 
And I hope that this will be another step in bringing back that kind of filmmaking for audiences that don't want to sit and watch the Transformers four times. <laughs> hey, I wanted to, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm very much kidding. But I want to thank you both for being on the show today. Cheryl Boone Isaacs, the Academy Awards starts 7 p.m. this Sunday night. Also, thank you, Stephen Simon. As always, a pleasure supporting, bringing back the old Hollywood. Go to theoldhollywood.com. Find out more how you can be part of this growing community. It's a time to celebrate the magic of movies, the magic of movie making, and the magic of Hollywood old and new. So until next time, I'm Nina Bosky, and don't forget, take a bite out of life before life takes a bite out of you. <laughs>